Today I want to talk about sugar cravings. Most of us are addicted to sugar and sweet foods. There is sugar in everything, even in toothpaste, it's called sorbitol. But refined white sugar is really addictive. I used to be addicted myself. I'd go through a whole package of sweets and then I'd go for the healthy medjool dates and I'd go for cakes and it could be all in the space of a few hours. Addictions are actually our body's language to tell us it is unbalanced. We're overworked, we're tired, we're unhappy, and many times we can find ourselves going for sweet foods. One of the reasons could also be because our body is lacking nutrition, and once we eat high quality foods, it will balance out naturally. The secret for overcoming sugar cravings is to start off by crowding the unhealthy sugary foods by adding healthy ones. You keep them in your bag, in the house, in the office, and then you go to, for them instead of going for the unhealthy sweet foods. Having the unhealthy sugary foods once in a while when you're out of the house. Remember, don't be extreme. 80% of the time I eat healthy, 20% of the time I eat unhealthy. Your percentage might be different, but remember, baby steps go a really long way. Now, ways to overcome sugar cravings are, first of all, when you feel you need something sweet, first of all, you drink. Many times our body is dehydrated and we actually, all we need to do is drink some water and then we won't have the sugar craving anymore. So first of all, have a glass of water. Another thing that is great is spirulina. It really, really balances sugar levels and it's great to add it to foods. You add it to your smoothie. We have it in our eight superfood mix. So I really walk around with a, a water bottle with our mix in it and I drink it throughout the day and it balances my sugar levels. Another thing to do is to add root vegetables to your diet. They, they actually have a very sweet effect on the body and when they're steamed or even when they're baked, they, they, they have a delicious sweet flavor, they balance sugar levels. So you can go for the sweet potatoes, even onions, carrots, corn, organic corn is better, but corn and parsnip, beets, all those are very, very good. Whole grains, of course, slowly crowding out, out the refined grains and moving to whole grains will balance your sugar levels and you'll find that you don't crave as much. Superfoods are amazing. They really, they give you such high quality nutrition and you slowly will find that you, you just don't crave as much. So adding superfoods to your breakfast, this is amazing just to snack on. I carry it around in my bag and I just snack on superfoods. Also, instead of going for the sweet, snacks, chocolates with all the sugar. You can go for sun-dried dried fruit like dates, apples, raisins. It's great to have them with some healthy oils like seeds and nuts. That balances your sugar levels too and it won't spike them. Another great thing is actually to have dark from 70% up, 70% or 85% dark chocolate with a high percent of, of cacao. It doesn't have as, as much sugar. Read the ingredient list and th this is wonderful. Or going for healthy snacks. There's so many healthy snacks on the market. A lot of them have very few ingredients. If you'll actually read the ingredient list, you'll see like this one has just some dried fruit, dates, pecans, almonds, that's it, no sugar nothing addictive. So read ingredient lists, be a food detective. And if you see sugar in its many different forms written in the first, second, third, fourth place on the ingredient list, that means that that's mostly what is in here. Because what's in the first, second, third place on the ingredients is what is mostly in that food. So actually start researching what's inside and you'll find that many of those breakfast cereals that you think are so healthy actually have sugar and it's many names over and over in the ingredient list. So really go have these in your bags and then you actually will snack on this and you won't go for the unhealthy ones. Change your refined processed sugar, the white sugar that actually has nothing but calories, no nutrition whatsoever, and really spikes your blood sugar levels. Change it to more healthy sweets, sweeteners, like honey, real honey is great, organic cane sugar is great, maple syrup, syrup grade B is great. All these will have a much subtler effect on your blood levels and is a way better option. Of course, Adding green leaves to your diet will also balance your sugar levels. Eating more fruit in general is also be the best thing to do. So once you, in baby steps, add all these options, after a while, I promise you, you will just not crave as much sweets. And slow down your life also. When our life is slower, 
we don't crave as much sugar. Have a super life.